Hello, and thank you so much for coming by the channel today. I really appreciate it. My name is Susan. This channel is Road Reads, and today we're going to do just a quick reading journal update video. I don't think I've shown it since the beginning of the year. So I wanted to share with you what I have done so far. This reading journal is a Hobonichi Day Free A5, and I did cover it with a Midori paper cover that I just got off of Amazon. And then I printed out on my little portable printer, I printed out the covers of the books I want to reread in 2024. So it's a good reminder because I've only reread 84 Charing Cross Road, Tale of Two Cities and To Kill a Mockingbird. So I need I need to refocus on this. So it's a nice reminder. The titles are right there on my Midori cover of what I want to reread. But let's just take a quick look inside. I use pretty much all of the sections in the day free. The first section I use are the monthly pages. So on the day that I finish reading a book, I will put the title, the star rating, and the uh, genre. So I've been doing that each month. You can see some months I have read more than others. This was a huge reading month. This one, not so much. It is nice to be able to see all the reading on just, you know, these this two-page sp spread. You can see this was my... Uh, my reading hangover after Demon Copperhead. It's not that I didn't read during these two weeks. It's just I didn't stick with anything. I was having the hardest time with that. And that takes us up to June. So that is still in process. The next section I use, so after the monthly pages, the Hobonichi Day Free just has a bunch of blank grid pages. And so I did decide to do an index uh, because these are numbered pages here in the Day Free. So I just have the page number and what title or titles is, are on those pages. And oftentimes I'll also put the author name. And yeah, so this was, this is from January 1st. And I feel like I was in a really good rhythm with my reading journal in the beginning, but then that kind of went sideways, unfortunately, as you'll see, uh, it gets less and less. Some of these pages, all I have is a printout of the book cover and very minimal uh, information. But others, like, Fellowship of the Ring, I enjoyed journaling quotes on that. A Month in the Country, obviously, I enjoyed journaling quotes from that. I love seeing, I love seeing uh, the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit pictures in my reading journal. It just makes me very, very happy. These were two good mystery thrillers. If you like mystery thrillers, these, I really enjoyed both of those. Just FYI. And then, then we get into my Harper Lee reading, and I was just so far behind, I ended up not even printing out book covers and just putting uh, the titles here. This big frowny face is because of Charles Shields' biography on Harper Lee. I just really questioned some of the accuracy in it, unfortunately. And that was the trip to Monroeville, which I have really good memories of. And yeah, so you can see here, like there were so many good quotes from Baumgartner that I could have been filling up pages on and I didn't. Uh, same with Demon Copperhead. Man, is that book quotable. And I just haven't, and maybe I will go back and, and put in quotes for Demon Copperhead and Baumgartner. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. And now we're kind of getting up to date with June reading and... Yeah, so that's where we are. And then the last part I use, and this page drives me crazy. It's so not not nice looking. And that's the My 100 page where I just keep all the titles and the star rating. One, yes, I have an ink splotch on the page. That is because when I drove to Florida in February, I took a couple of fountain pens with me. And when I came back, 
lesson learned. I have to go through the mountains to get to Florida. And I guess the air pressure or whatever, you know, messed up one of the fountain pens, which I knew it happened when you flew or can happen when you fly. I didn't, I didn't take it into, um, into my thinking when I got back from the mountain going through the mountains and yeah the the pen just exploded on me and it's driving me crazy I could white out this and then just write over it with a regular pen but it I also don't like that I have all the different ink colors on this page and I don't know. It just looks, it's not how I would like it to look. So I may, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking next year, maybe I won't, maybe I won't use fountain pens. I mean, other people can handle it and they do such pretty journals in the Hobonichi, but I make a mess. There's so many watermarks, maybe because I'm going through these pages kind of quickly and you don't, you don't see them all, but believe me, they're there and I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what next year brings. But I'm definitely going to keep using this one. Uh, I should never say definitely. My plan is to keep using this one for the re remainder of 2024. And uh, yeah, so this will be just a quick little video just giving you an update on, on my reading journal this year. Please share in the comments. Let me know, are you keeping a reading journal? And if so, what type of... Uh, planner do you use or are you all digital this is more this is just really for fun I find it meditative to write quotes from the books and uh, I just I haven't been prioritizing it and I want to so it's good that I do this video to kind of maybe kick me back into the gear I was in during the earlier months of 2022. But that's that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.